What up dudes, my name is Pixel Tricks. Welcome back to Resident Evil. Um, today we are going to be heading into the caves, everyone's favorite. So we're going to grab the battery, the crank, and I'm actually going to grab this first aid spray. I don't necessarily need it, um, but unfortunately I did not kill a snake before I that I was trying to dodge. And I was thinking about it, it's probably still going to be there. The doorknob's also been repaired by Wesker. By the way, he went around and fixed the door. And I actually don't know if this door actually is, like, when it breaks, he can't go through it or what. I've never encountered that issue. But that might be a thing. Regardless, um, I grabbed the first aid spray because uh, I'm probably going to get hit by the snake again. Fortunately, he has a low chance of poisoning. I don't think it can even poison you, the one that attacks you really fast. And also, after that, we have to deal with some dogs that, um... I previously, I previously said we were going to shoot, but I'm kind of low on ammo, so I'm just going to try to avoid them. They can nick me uh, pretty bad. These little pooches right here. See, Chris just like kind of petted him right there. <laughs> he like walked by and he's like, oh, good doggy. He just <laughs> put his hand over it. All right. Um, so this is the part with the snakes again. This is the last time we have to deal with these uh, particular snakes, fortunately, because... Um, Getting poisoned is no fun in this game. Okay, so there's a snake right here. Yeah, so it got me, but I'm not poisoned because um, you can tell if you're poisoned because you'll be limping. He'll be like kind of grabbing your shoulder. And um, I'm not in caution or anything. Again, it's like really minimal damage, so it's really not that big of a deal. And I'd rather conserve ammo if I could. I killed the dogs in this area before, uh, so we don't have to worry about them. But normally there's two dogs here. So now we're going to place the battery right here. And we're going to be able to use this lift to go back to the previous area. Um, and then we'll be able to raise the water back into that pool. Which will reveal a place that we have to go. There's a dog literally like right next to me. I'm just going to casually stroke. Oh god. Oh god. Please. Please don't do it to Chris. <laughs> Please don't. Alright. <laughs> so they're being very kind to me now. But... There's going to be plenty of other stuff that is going to try to mess with me on my shenanigans here today. Uh, of course. One of them being getting the proper angle for uh, putting things in. Alright. So, there we go. That's going to bring the water back here. And that's going to reveal a path that was covered up by a waterfall in a previous area. You can actually see the sound of the waterfall seems to have stopped so now we're gonna dip out of here go back through that elevator that we reactivated with the battery and we are going to go into the caves everyone's favorite um on hard mode there is uh more hunters that we have to deal with basically excuse me <laughs> uh dude the dogs were really kind to me today i got really lucky actually all right it's it's cool it's cool all right gonna head out and go right down here because Chris is fearless he doesn't care he's like I'll go in this dark pit <laughs> mansion full of zombies and giant snakes too what could go wrong down here so that's that's just his thing he does I guess Chris Redfield all right so you might notice some like things on the ground here but I'm um, not here but in this next room they're just handgun ammo. Uh, we are not going to pick them up. We don't need it. It's not ne necessary at this point of the game. You can collect it if you want. There's really no point. Um, should see. Yeah, right there. We don't need that. Just going to head into this room because we have to get the other crank. Um, the one we have right now won't work for a couple of the things that we have to do a little bit later in uh, the caves. All right. I'm gonna go right in here into this damn place. I remember I was so hurt last time when I was playing in my Joe. Oh. Enrico, don't come any closer, Chris. What happened? <sighs> Double crosser. Hmm? Enrico, wait. <laughs> Enrico! <laughs> um, well. Uh... Enrico! I don't get it. 
I actually don't get it. <laughs> this seems really funny. Okay. Kill them with just one shot. A bullet will do that to you, Chris. Who could it be? <laughs> with just one bullet shot that killed him? In the heart? Wait, he's holding something. So this is the other crank that I was talking about. We need this to progress a little bit later. And that is the end of Enrique's tale. Fortunately, hunters are dumbasses. And they think they're all badass. So when they show up, they're just like... Bleh! And, uh... It gives us enough time to at least get past that hunter so we don't have to worry about him. He doesn't follow us or anything. He'd rather snack on Enrique or whatever. So, that's cool that he has that going on for him. Unfortunately, these hunters right here, we are not going to be so lucky as to be able just to casually strut by them. Oh, this could go horribly wrong. Okay. Hey, I'm Chris. Chris Redfield. Oh my god. Ow! Son of a bitch. Okay, well, he's dead now. Alright, well, I'm not in yellow, so I'm not going to pop my heel right away. Do I hear more hunters? I think there might be more hunters. Before, there was only two in that room. Apparently, there's more. Okay, well... Shit. Eh. Alright. So, I'm going to just replace a few things here. Um gonna go ahead and grab I'm gonna put away my shotgun stuff and grab my magnum all right that's pretty much it we have to go here and usually crank I should have put away the green one um I think it's okay I think question mark all right um regardless just to be safe uh yeah we only have to turn that once I'm just gonna put this away yeah green one you gotta go Still got my first aid spray. There's also a green herb uh, over here if you want to grab that if you're playing this or whatever. Um, I don't need it. I actually have plenty of heal healing stuff left in the box. Okay. So, uh, flamethrower. Yes. <laughs> Finally get something cool on Chris's part. What is these? A huge boulder blocks the way. Apparently in Resident Evil 5, Chris just punches a boulder like this. <laughs> Check out that combat roll. Freaking badass Chris Redfield right here. But in Resident Evil 5, he apparently just punches it. He just punches it. <laughs> yeah, I guess he's like super buff in that game or whatever. And uh, he's just a gnarly badass. So uh, I guess that's cool for him, I guess. Um, Alright, so this is another bo boss fight. Um, normally this thing dies in four magnum hits. That's pretty easy. I'm actually going to use the flamethrower. I'm actually going to. Holy shit, am I dead? <laughs> Holy fucking... Are you okay? Okay, don't. Don't. Alright, I'm just going to do the thing, I guess. Alright. Oh god. Stop. Wow! Okay, I was trying to do cool stuff. You're making this very difficult for me, Black Spider. And I'm, that's not a racist, racist thing. I'm... He, it's a black spider. Okay. Black Tiger is the boss's name. Okay, so it's dead now. Um, so I'm just going to leave the room. I'm going to pop this. I'm fine. Walk it off, Chris. All right. Um, he can poison you, too. I think if the Black Tiger spits on you with his goo. His lag goo. But if you leave, the spiders that appear in that room are no longer there. You use the flamethrower right here to get rid of this. If you run out of fuel, you can actually go back to your storage box. And get this survival knife and it'll cut through all that stuff. And that is all that we are going to see of the flamethrower. <laughs> Unfortunately. Because we have to set it here to open this door. <laughs> Isn't that a giant bummer? That's all you get <laughs> with the flamethrower. So, like, normally you want to use your magnum shots on him right there. It's safer. But I wanted to, you know, kind of show it off. Kind of, you know. Alright, so we're going to go here. Use like crank. We have to use it three times right here to unlock the path though. Or else the boulder will destroy Chris. And that's no good. So we're going to do this. Because apparently he hasn't got macho enough to uh, punch this. Again, this is just what I heard. I've never played RE5. Yeah, and that unlocks a little path that we can run to. Okay. And that's all we need. Uh, we're going to exit out. we got to be really fast and just going to run. 
and the boulder will go through. Wapa. Okay, good. So now we're gonna go in this part. Um, let's see, I think we have a couple puzzles that we have to take care of. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, this room. Alright, I did not mean to. Whoops. Okay, the camera angles in here are literally the worst thing in the world. <laughs> so we're gonna push this, I think, like four times, I believe. Four? Question mark? Yeah. So we have to go over here and use our crank. Very important part of this uh, little mini cave adventure. We're spelunking. Okay, so we're just gonna push that out. And then... I'll give us enough room to push it towards this. Because we actually have to match it up with the other statue. So, we have to turn it a little bit with this little turny crank thing. Quite an odd structure, I know. Okay, so we gotta put it on once. Okay. Camera. Ca I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, he's gonna do the thing. And then we have to push it back on it uh, one more time. <laughs> I got bodied by the camera angles too. <laughs> nice. Now it's in the proper uh, direction. I'm gonna push it out a little bit. Push it a little towards the wall. And then we're gonna push it this way. It won't be so bad, but the camera keeps like changing like right in that one spot. So it's like, ah. Alright, it's cool though. Is we got we got to push a little bit up Come on this side uh, push it like these another beautiful camera angle right there oh god oh please do it all right that should yeah just had to nudge it a little bit and there you go okay and then we can get lay cylinder so now we pretty much gone here and done all of the thing, all of those things just to get that. <laughs> so um, now we're just gonna head on back because um, we needed to grab this. Just gonna go all the way back, and uh, there's another hunter. It's gonna appear here in a second. I'm just gonna try my best just to walk past him, not walk but run. Um, just get right through. Yeah, it's unfortunate you can't use the flamethrower for that long, but um, I don't think it has much hits done as it is, so regardless. I have no idea what that thing is over there. I'm not going to grab it, though. Probably just handgun ammo or some shit like that. Alright. Huh. Yeah, here's our friends. We're just going to run past him. <laughs> That's that friend you don't want to ever talk to, but you don't want to be a dick. So when you see him, you're still like, oh, hey, what's up? But secretly, you're just like, oh god, this guy. Okay, so... Let's see. Got this cylinder. We need to make our way back to the elevator. And solve the fast little puzzle. And then we're going to go deeper into the underground. Um, because we need to grab some things. And we should be able to get through just right like past here. Yeah. Whew. <clears throat> well, alright. Uh, it wasn't the smoothest way through the caves, but I made it somehow. And I'm still alive. So that's always a good thing. Okay. So we're just gonna go here. Open this. And we get this weird looking thing. Looks like an Olympic torch kind of stand or whatever. Combine these. And we're just gonna fit it right back in. So here's the flashing buttons. And it'll be four. Two, three, one is the code. And the power is restored and the elevator will come back up. Okay. It's like a mining area, huh? Yeah. Here's like it. Alright, so we're gonna dip. Eh. Yes. Go deeper into the underground, because why not? Explore this place up a little bit. We're gonna see our old pal Lisa. Um, everyone loves Lisa. She's pretty cool. I really love her story. I, I love uh, that they added it to this game. I think it's just so neat. Alright, uh, so I'm gonna go over here and see her and say hello. Uh, hello, Lisa. If you do that, then she spawns over there and she, she won't give you grief because um, she'll randomly spawn like in like kind of like corner you. So 
You just want to like have her show up there so you can get through to uh, this area. You can actually climb these boxes right here. And up there, there is a defense item, or the good one too, the uh, flash bomb. I'm not going to grab it. I feel like I have enough uh, defensive items on me. Um, and we just waste more time. I'm trying to save as much time as I can. So we're just going to pull this crate and put it on here. Should be enough. Device. And I would like to start this up. Because we need to do this to get out of here. Okay. Wait, I actually can't move until the sound stops. Ah, lovely. But yeah, if you want to go up there, there's a handgun clip. If you're playing on normal, there should be like magnum rounds up there. But it's just a handgun clip in hard mode. So it's not really worth my time. So we want to spawn Lisa right around here. There she is. Took a swing at us, but we got out. The caves are very confusing. Thankfully, I didn't get turned around too terribly. These camera angles. Oof. <laughs> Alright, we got past it. So, we need an item here in a second. We need to go back and get this. We actually have to go like down here. There's an item box there. I don't think I need to like put anything away for now. We're gonna have another one a little later on. I think they put it there just in case your inventory is full right now. Um, because we need to grab this in order to get out of here now. So we're just gonna push this all the way to the end because we have to break open the crate um, with this like garbage compactor, I suppose. I just push that all the way to the end. And we're almost out of here. Just put this right here. Okay, lovely. And we're gonna start that up. <laughs> and it's uh, it's kind of messed up too because we got teased with that flamethrower. We were able to use it for very shortly, and then when we break this open, what do you know? Another flamethrower, and you're like, oh, thank God, we get to get it. But then once we go down, um, we can actually see it's broken. Yeah, it's called broken flamethrower, so it doesn't work. So unfortunately, uh, it's just something that we have to hang in order to unlock a switch. That's kind of a theme in the caves. You have to put flamethrowers all over the place in order to get around. Quite an odd system, to be perfectly honest. But hey, it's Resident Evil. There's a lot of odd things to this game. Alright, so again, um, we're going to go here, and we're going to spawn Lisa in this one like corner so she can't like, chase us down or block our path. This is actually kind of hard. And there she is. We kind of want to let her come up to us a little bit. All right. All right. So we're going to pull this lever. That's going to open like the things to put the flamethrower on. Um, hopefully I give her enough room to not spawn here. Okay, good. You can hear her. All right, nice. I had so much trouble with that on my jail part actually getting the right angle. But we got it. We in there. And here we get to enter Lisa's domain, uh, her little lurker central with all of her candles. It's a cool place, actually. Some snakes here, but if you're fast enough, we can just get past it. And then we don't have to worry about them. I'm gonna go over here and grab this jewelry box. Really fast, we could examine it. It actually explains Lisa's story a little better. We're not going to read it, because um, I'm trying to beat this fast, but uh, I love the story of Lisa in this game. It's really sad. It's really sad, actually. Um, one of my favorite parts of the remake. Um, okay. Got a little turn around there. But besides that, we have to climb this ladder and get out of here. And it's not really necessary to combine them um, now, but I thought I'd just do it, just to have it done so I don't have to worry about menuing it later. Get up here. We actually don't need this anymore. Grab the metal object. Mind these. What is these? So now we have that. Back in Lisa's cabin. And we're just gonna head right out. Just like that. Enter the Lost Woods yet again. And uh, <laughs> try not to get turned around along the way. It's gonna be a zombie here. Um, if I'm fast enough, he shouldn't be that much of an issue. 
I think we have to go this way. Oh, nice. I actually did it right for once. Good job, me. Yeah, the zombie's not that big of a deal. <laughs> I actually did it. My final Lost Woods, I did a freaking good job, <laughs> finally. It's gonna be two zombies here. I think one of them just is kind of like staring out. So, we don't have to worry about him. Yeah, this guy. Yeah, see, that guy is just like, ugh. I've had a long day. I don't want to deal with this right now. Just kind of stands there. <laughs> it's like a different looking zombie, too. It's like a different model. So, nice. Okay, good. Just going to head back uh, towards Lay Mansion. With our newly acquired stone object. That's pretty much why we went down there. That little stone ring. So we could complete the medallion thing. <laughs> yeah. All right. So now uh, we are going to leave this place and never come back. And that's that whole section finally taken care of and all done. No more cave. That went by pretty fast. So it was okay. And we actually have to grab this. Th so that's going to lock off that part of the mansion forever. You could hear that click. And now we have both of them, which we need for uh, to be able to get to that one room where Lisa's mother is, actually. And, yeah, dude, I think that's pretty much it for today. Yeah, okay. Well, you know what? That went pretty all right. It didn't go too bad. It didn't go too bad. I got a little beat up along the way, but I survived, and we got through it. The caves are kind of a tricky part sometimes, especially if you don't know what's going on. Fortunately, I do. So we're going to save right here. And um, I'm just glad I didn't get poisoned by the spider. That would have been a... Or the snakes. That would have been a real shame. Oh god, please tell me I have stuff to heal with. Or not heal, but save. I'm running low, actually, to be honest. Okay, that's fine, though. Alright, you guys. Well, thank you for watching. We're getting very close to the end here. I'll see you on the next one. Uh, take care, dudes. Peace. Dude, I did it.